Well, good afternoon <clears throat> to everyone in Facebook land. Yours truly, Gigi, here in uh, Mexico. I got something that I would like to put out. I just got done watching a show that really struck me. It's the documentary of Paris Hilton. It's on Netflix. And I must admit, I had my ideas of what I thought about Paris Hilton. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's amazing how money <laughs> doesn't make you happy for so many reasons. And if you do get the opportunity, it's quite long. I think it's about two hours long. Uh, it shows Paris from her very childhood beginnings through her adolescence, through teenage, and why and how things. Hey, Rosemary, how you doing, sweetie? You know, and it like jargled me. And I don't think at this point right now I am ready to go through everything and the reasons why. But, you know, things happen to kids when they're younger that affects their whole life. Um, things happened to me when I was very young that affected me deeply. Um, I've never ever told anyone about some of the things that I have buried inside of me. And I am very, very open with my children I tell them the truth. My best friends are my children. They don't even know. Uh, don't know that I'm ready to tell them either. But everybody has skeletons in their closet. And people don't understand. We prejudge. You know, I remember thinking, oh, what an airhead, you know, Hilton was, Paris Hilton, and et cetera, et cetera. We are too quickly to judge people because we don't know what's buried way beneath. Without, without getting too crazy here, I strongly suggest that you watch the documentary of Paris Hilton on Netflix. It may change your mind about how you look at people and how you feel, and it may bring out some things in yourself that are buried that you really don't want to remember but I think remembering and dealing with situations that we've all been through and everybody has their own book to read and write um, can tell you why you are who you are if you get to this point and what led you to this point I just hope that anyone who suffers from things that happen, no matter what they are, and there's a lot of different things, I think what you have to realize is that you're not the only one. Is that there's other people that have been through same or worse than you. The one thing for me, I think the end result is, is that I never, ever wanted my children to feel what I felt when I was a kid. Now, I hope to God that I have uh, done that. And I hope they, they feel the way I feel. And that's not just for my children, it's any, anyone's children. You know, you want, you want your children to love you, you want them to respect you, etc., etc. 
You know, I, I watched the the Paris Hilton documentary, and it's it's unbelievable how I think as parents, and we've all done it. We try to protect our children in different ways. And the things that you'll see in the documentary uh, did not work for Paris. And I think she's going through a lot now. Um, it, it's funny because when I was a teenager, I'll share this a little bit. I guess I was the age, I don't know, 11, 12, 13, 14. I could not sit and say a sentence and say a sentence. I would be sitting, I'd, I'd, I'd be sitting, I'd, 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 I'd be sitting here. Yeah, I, 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 I stuttered like a son of a gun. I was running my mouth like an outboard motor and I stuttered for a good three years. And the other thing that went along with the stuttering was I always felt that there was something in my eye. This one eye, I would pull all the time. <clears throat> the stuttering was the worst because you always think that somebody's looking at you, you can't get a sentence out. You know, you don't want to do your school work. I was terrible in school. I, uh, you know, it, it was just, hated school. I hated school. Actually got thrown out in 10th grade. You know, sometimes you think you're getting pulled to something and you don't know why. I've been toying with the idea, I guess, now for a couple of years on writing a story about my life and it's funny I've had a hundred people plus tell me you should write a book you should write a book my biggest problem is sitting down and writing <laughs> writing the book uh, looking back I think I've had a very interesting life I want to say a lot of good, but there was a lot of bad. I don't think that I really dealt with all the demons in my closet until I totally crashed. Crashing is... Uh, very difficult. The reason I'm doing this, I guess it's two reasons. I really feel like I need to share my experience with other people, whether they be friends or anyone uh, that's watching this video, because you always think to yourself, why is this happening to me? Or you, you just feel alone. The loneliness will kill you, for sure. Hi, D. So, you know, I'm not, I have got to work up the courage, I think, to be able to bring out and share some of the things that are buried way down deep in my soul. From childhood, it took me all my life to get to the point where I'm at now. And I'm in a very good place right now. And I thank God for that. But it's a long time. I sure wish that uh, 
I could have done it a lot quicker. So, you know, like I said, I want to try to put something together that's going to make some sense. I don't want to embarrass anyone, nor do I want anyone to feel that once I do this, you can't ask me, because I'm sure a lot of things that I would divulge those things have happened to other people that are grieving about them. And you just don't know what to do with it. It's in you. You don't know where to put it. Yeah, I've gotten to the point in my life where, and I say this all the time, somebody asks me, how you doing? I said, I'm doing fabulous. Fabulous. I'm doing a lot better than yesterday. But let me tell you something, I am not as good as tomorrow. That wasn't always my motto. I used to look at the glass half empty, Christ, with nothing in it. Thank God, I guess my journey brought me to a place where I don't feel that anymore. That I am so, so thankful for the blessings that I have. The number one thing that I am blessed with and grateful for, and I don't know that I have the words to describe my feeling, is that I've been blessed with great children. who have weathered a lot of things that I've gone through, maybe didn't 100% understand. But I know they're always there for me. And there's nothing better than having that feeling that you know somebody loves you unconditionally no matter what, good or bad, and has your back. If you have something like that, you're a trillionaire. Not a billionaire, not a millionaire, a trillionaire. And that's something that money can't buy. And it's kind of, if you do watch the Paris Hilton story, I think you will see that. You know, how does a person in her position have friends, know that, you know, if they fall in love, what's he or she falling in love with me if they're falling in love? Money takes away that privilege. Now, I'm not saying money's bad. Okay, don't, don't misunderstand me. We all need money to live, pay our bills, Etc. Etc. But I think it gets to a point where we make that king, and that's what she did. And hopefully, she's rectifying her addiction. So, like I said before, I hope that I can find the strength to bring out some of the things, and I'm sure that. I may get criticized for it. I don't think so, but I hope not. I think my main objective is to help other people that have been through what I've been through. Um, not a picnic. Sometimes you can get so far down in the hole getting out seems impossible. I was in that hole. 
and I can tell you right now, it's the love of my children that brought me out. Showed me what was important. So I hope I haven't bored you with this. And I do hope that maybe you watching the Hilton story will spark something in you, because it did me. Um, and like I said, if I can work up the courage one day to really put my story out there, I think it would help a lot of people. And uh, let you know that you're not the only one. Now, I'm pretty much on the other side of the coin right now, thank God. But there was a time where these things haunted me. So, if you have any comments on this, I'm an open book. I'd love to hear it. If you want to talk privately about something that was happening to you or you felt or whatever, been there, done it the whole nine yards nothing would surprise me so I do appreciate any comments and like I said hopefully I'll be able to uh, let it all out one day but otherwise I'm doing okay you know I gotta get my face back on now <laughs> well guys thank you so much for listening God bless you and uh, enjoy your life. Take care.